coming into the day, the bulls got down. They had a strong bull bar, follow through bar on bars one and two. Odds were you'd have a second leg up. Bears failed to break above. Yesterday's high and got a strong reversal down. Big bear bar is strong enough. We're going to go at least <clears throat> strong enough to break up that it's probably going to be a surprise bar and will probably be the dominant feature of the day. Whenever you have a, I do it like this. Whenever you have a big bear bar, you often get a couple of legs down and then a deeper pullback. You know, the risk is big and often there's, you know, traders are hesitant as far as how deep will the pullback be. Big bar, big risk. So at some point, while the probability may be high, the risk reward is bad. So if the stop's all the way up here, traders know the probabilities. Traders know that a measured move down to here is not likely before you get a deeper pullback. So while we did get a measured move down and in fact got you know, two times a measured move down, you had a fairly deep pullback first which is why a lot of traders will sell and scalp out. Three legs down, so it's wedge, one, two, three. Odds are you'll probably get a few legs up testing the moving average, which we did here. Let's see. Strong enough pull bar testing the moving average, so probably gonna have at least a couple legs sideways to up. Trading range likely, so bears testing the open of the day. Three consecutive bear bars, big down, big up, probably gonna go sideways, probably some sort of trading range. Higher low major trend reversal, but tight channel first first low may be brief plus right below the moving average in the middle of the trading range. Not a great buy. Big bear bar, probably going at least a little bit sideways. Wedge bottom, possible second leg trap, but maybe strong enough surprise may get a little bit lower. Bulls, they're hopeful that this is a double bottom, so some may buy bet on the measure move up. Never triggered, and instead we got the bear breakout. Three consecutive bear bars, probably going a little bit lower. So consecutive sell climaxes, second entry buy, tight enough channel. It's also a wedge, one, two, three, or wedge, one, two, three, fail breakout below wedge. Second entry buy, maybe micro little bottom with here. Probably going higher. Test of the moving average, looks like a leg in the trading range, so you know, probably gonna go mostly sideways here. And we broke below this low, so may get back to here if this is a target. Big bull bar, a lot of bull bars here, fairly tight channel. So a lot of bears, they may not be so thrilled to sell below a bear bar even if it closed on its low because of the increased chance that if it's gonna go sideways, there's a greater chance it may be enough and you may get a bull breakout of a bull flag or a bull breakout of a bear flag because the market's probably entering a trading range. Strong bull bar, pause, second leg up, bear bar. It's possible parabolic wedge, one, two, three, and it's a lower high with here and here. So a lot of bears may get out below this bar or get out on two or three consecutive bear bars. Looks like the bears, the bulls, a lot of bulls will get out below this bar or two or three bear bars. Two consecutive bull bars, looks, this looks like a give up bar. On the close of this bar, a lot of bears give up, gave up. <coughs> so we may go more sideways to down. Looks like we're getting an endless pullback for five consecutive bear bars. First of our slope is probably going to fail. Another bear bar, another bear bar, bull bar. Tight enough channel down that probably going to have to go sideways here at a minimum for the bulls before they can get a credible buy. So big bull bar, but again, you have to question why this. So here we had a bear channel trend line break. The bulls wanted a higher low major trend reversal. However, they got this instead, which may reset the count, and now the bulls need another trend line break here and to retest the lows. So there's a higher low major trend reversal, but it's a very tight channel, expanding triangle. You know, you can take it for a swing, it's not a great buy. It's bigger risk than what traders want, forcing you to buy at the top of the trading range right below the moving average. Not all that great, but some bulls will buy it. And 
just point out one thing real quick. So bulls buy this close, disappointed by the entry bar. A lot of traders will try to get out break even here. So if you bought, the close of this bar is 40.50 and the high of this bar is 41.25. So yeah, let me, let me do this so it's easier to see. So if you bought here, the high of your entry price is 41.25. High of this bar is 41.25. And then right here, let traders out. So traders had a, they moved their stop to break even, didn't get filled on this bar. They got filled by the tick. Went one tick above their entry price turned down. So a sign that a lot of traders wanted to get out. Second bear bar is probably going at least a little bit lower. Sell the close, but late in the day. Probably not going to last all day. Uh, second leg down. So if you're Short, a lot of traders get out of the bull bar, this didn't trigger, so some bears may get out one or two points above this bar, but if they didn't get out above this bull bar, theory they're still short, they get out above the bull bar here. Best looking bear bar, a lot of traders, it's a wedge, one, two, three, a lot of bulls, a lot of bears would just get out of the close of this bar because there's too much risk of that. And then we rallied into the close. Overall, when you get a bar like this, it pretty well sets the tone of the day, trading range or bear trend. Therefore, a lot of bears will look to sell pullbacks, as they did here. And when they're selling, they know one thing. They know two things are likely. It's probably not. They know it's probably not a bull trend, which means it's either a trading range or a bear trend. So if they're selling high and scalping out, they're going to be right. If it's a bear trend, they're going to be right. If it's a bull trend, or excuse me, they're going to be right. If it's a bear trend, they're going to be right. If it is a trading range. So they sell every time it gets to the moving average. So far away, they start selling pullbacks. Sell this high, goes down. Gets climactic, far away from the moving average. Bears step aside. They wait for the pullback. Testing here. But again, channel can get tight. Consecutive sell climaxes. So if you're, think about it like this. You're short, stop up here. You get a bear bar, move your stop here. A little bit lower. So maybe your stops up here, pull back, and then you get another bear bar. If you think about why consecutive sell climaxes happen, is because every one of these reversals is a reversal attempt. It's a breakout. Bulls tried to reverse, they failed. Tried to reverse, failed. Tried to reverse, failed. And they're trying again. Well, at some point, they're going to be successful. And the reality is, it's risk reward. You're not going to sell this close and put your stop all the way up here. You could, but it's really not that ideal because risk reward. If I'm going to risk $100, this right here is $100 in theory, and my target's all the way down here, $100 lower, what's the probability I'm going to be right? Well, at this point, I don't think it's 60% that it's going to go all the way down here before it gets up to here. And therefore, it makes sense for me to get out of the trade and look to sell a pullback. I can either get out or I type my stop. Maybe I put my stop here so I could sell, stop up here, and go for twice my risk. That makes the math work. A better alternative is I tighten my stop even further, so maybe above a bull bar. So I'm short, I get out above this bull bar, price rallies, and I'll excel, get above a bear bar, below a bear bar, excuse me, we don't get it, bull breakout, then we get a bear bar. So some traders, again, it's yet a Rally, reversal attempt down. Another breakout, reversal attempt, breakout, pause. Another breakout, pause. So at some point, the bulls, they have the same problem. Here, so their stops here, and let's say they're long right now. What's the probability price goes up to here before it goes down to here? If it's close to 50-50, then we may not go. If, it, if it's not 60%, it's a bad trade. Therefore, a lot of bears, a lot of bulls get out below the bar and look to buy lower. Bears, they'll sell. The bears will sell, stop up here, up here, betting on a new leg down which they got. Hope this video helps.